hungry old man. Okay. All right, hold on. All right, speaking to the microphone. Hello. <laughs> hold on, state your name for the record. Robin. All right, Robin, what's your job here? Data entry. All right. Ah. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> All right. <coughs> How's that? Oh, my name is Aubriana Choate. And what's your position? Um, I'm not sure exactly. I've got lots of those: wife, mother, uh, office assistant, sales, accounting. Co-owner, we can throw that in there. All right. <laughs> Question one. <laughs> I'm currently doing a setup of six O heads for my O3. I, I know I'll be buying a new set before long, but I really like being a screw up. Okay. But my question is on the valve cut angle. Why are why are they 30 degrees? Why won't they flow better at 45 degrees at this narrow ports? Or is it something with the recession that makes the 30 more efficient? Listen, man, just follow the plan that was that was established originally with the 45 degrees. That is a weird question. Um, no one does anything 30 degrees anymore. Uh, yeah, I'm at the pass. <laughs> this is the... Yeah, as for... Answer the question. Did you know the answer? No, I think they need to go to a literature lesson first. Okay. I think they need to work on their English. Alright. I'm going to assume that it's more efficient because people smarter than me have actually worked on it. I'm not engine smart enough to do that. Uh, that's why we get cast to answer these questions. Alright. Can I go down? Yeah, yeah, you can go down. I don't know what valves have to do with ports, especially the valve cut angles. Um,. I would think that the only thing to do with porting would be your exhaust and intake sides. And valves are valves. That's all I got. Question two, why not add short fins across the top of the second gen valve covers for more cooling? Um, because we're not pets. Petco, we don't, we don't deal with fish. Um, I don't know anything about fins. Pass on this one too. <laughs> I don't know what short fins are. First answer is because if we did, then we would be getting sued constantly because people would be slicing their hands open on those fins. I have no words, nothing to add at all. Unfortunately, I don't have answers. Question three, I was told to skip question two until the end. Maybe a stupid question, probably. But why don't engines have multiple thrust bearings if they, I'm not finishing this, it's because they're not airplanes. You aren't flying an airplane. It's because it's not an airplane. It's a car. Airplanes up here, cars drive down here. All right, moving on. Doesn't that cause a bending? No, because there's no separation for it to bend probably. I'm gonna go with that. Okay. <laughs> they shouldn't have asked that question. Why? Because I ask stupid questions. There are such things as stupid questions, and that doesn't make any. We can't even install transmissions up to engines correctly with one. So why do we need two or three? And if the transmission is pushing the crank forward and you only have one thrust bearing, doesn't that cause a bending? In my mind, I also think. Again, is it installed correctly? Something to think about. 
And the last one, I know it's been asked a million times, but I don't recall finding an answer I really trusted. What would be the highest pre-turbo EGT you consider to be safe on a sustained period of say three to five minutes of high engine load pulling up on pulling up a long grade? And I really don't have an answer on the EGTs, but I do know you don't want to go above a 5972 millimeter charger on these, at least on the 6.4s. Uh, I deal primarily with the 6.4 engines. A lot of people want to go higher that and be able to tow and have street racing performance, and that's just not feasible. That's a little bit out of my pay grade. I'm going to pass. I'm going to plead the fifth on this one. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm the last person on this blooper reel. Uh, first off, in case you didn't know, we are on TikTok. We are on TikTok, Spotify, pretty much everything right now. Uh, you can follow us on TikTok at Cho Engineering. You can follow us at Spotify at the Cho Engineering Podcast. My coworkers are standing in the hallway behind the camera, laughing at me. It's okay. They don't know that I also got them on camera when they did their blooper reel. Hope you all have a good one. All right.